I felt so lost when learning anatomy. I wanted to learn, but I didn't know where to start. Should I just copy anatomy books? Draw each muscle and bone for weeks? The problem I had with anatomy is everything felt above my skill level. And looking back now, I wish someone told me that learning anatomy is like learning to talk. <laughs> Let me explain. Now, artists on Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube inspired me to pick up a pencil. Artists like Luis, Likelihood Art, Sam Desart, and Mark Brunette made me believe it was possible. But as soon as I picked up a pencil, I became frustrated because I did not know where to start. And this stage reminds me of a baby talking, actually. You see, if you ever find yourself around a baby, you'll notice something interesting. They say things like, goo goo gaga. <laughs> you see, babies are trying to piece together how to communicate using basic sounds. They haven't yet learned what words are. And the problem I had when I first started as an art baby was I was trying to talk like Sam Desart or Luis. I was trying to talk like my inspiration and I did not understand that there were some basics I needed to know first. And the way I moved past the baby stage was learning something that didn't make sense, nor was it even something I enjoyed. But to explain, let's look at the next stage. Now toddlers can speak. They'll say things like, mommy play, daddy hungry, doggy big. In this stage, toddlers have learned basic words and how those words get responses. And so as an art baby, I needed to learn the basics, the structure of drawing. And the basic language of drawing is not anatomy, but something that seems completely unrelated. Shapes. <laughs> now I have an entire video that I'll link at the end of this video discussing how I use shapes for those who are still in this stage. But there is a problem with only learning shapes. The same problem a toddler has when using disconnected words. It's cute, but it still feels incomplete. And so the way we move past toddler talk is to learn how to put shapes together in a way that makes them flow. Now in this stage, I had a whole new struggle. I knew the fundamentals, the vocab of shapes, but I did not understand how to put those shapes into ways that flowed. My drawing still felt very stiff and robotic. So how did I move past this stage? Well, in order to improve as an art baby, I needed to learn how to put these nouns, verbs, and adjectives into sentences. And that's when I took an online art class. I saw the missing piece for drawings that flowed, drawings that breathe. And y'all, this thing transformed my drawings overnight. And what that thing was is gesture. Now, if you get anything from this video, I want you to understand the power of using and studying gesture. But the thing about gesture is studying it alone did not help my anatomy. And neither does studying sentence structure improve how you speak. And you're not gonna wanna hear this because I know when I first started, I didn't wanna hear this. But this stage is crucial if you want to get to the next level. Now this stage won't take as long as you think, but it will take time. Because during this stage, I had to practice. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Please don't leave. I promise you. This is, this is a good one. You see, during this stage, I had to listen and learn new words, new ways of structuring drawings. I had to copy artists I love. I had to practice and study references. And this stage has taken me months to learn. And it's something I still do to this day. Because I realize 
It's the only way you can get to the next stage. Now, I don't feel like I've reached this stage because in this place, with all the practicing, with all the study of language, there comes a point in time where everything flows. You are using no mental energy trying to think of just the right words to say and how to talk. And this is the fluent stage of being an art baby. In this stage, you can copy a reference without thinking. What would take you hours in the previous stages? You could draw in just a few minutes. Drawing would be like talking. But all our babies must start from the basics. And so, if you want to see how I started seeing and using shapes to learn to draw, watch this next video.